girl, are you ready? The real Andy of Beverly Hills is here to spill all the tea. So let's talk about this mess. Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another day full of tea. And girl, we're gonna start our beautiful day with some recaps, okay? Because you guys really, really are enjoying the recaps that I have been doing on New York, on Orange County, and on on other shows, you know. So I was like. Okay, I sometimes, like, I'm a little bit hesitant about doing recaps because, you know, recaps is all about opinions, you know, it's not like actual tea, it's all about just opinions, and, ugh, you know, sometimes you have to deal with my unsolicited opinions, you know, but you know what? If you are enjoying it, I am a here for it, bitch, okay? Because you know that I will be saying everything as it is. I don't play preference. I mean, I have my queens, but when they mess it up, bitch, I'm going to tell you, right? Okay, guys, so we need to talk about the Real house of Orange County because, honestly, that last episode was everything. Look, I have been seeing so... Well, not so much, but, like, I have been seeing hate online um towards the season but a lot of the hate is literally directed at tamara judge you know so i'm starting to think like okay this is not a less hate on orange county is less hate on tamara judge but bitch i do not understand that because tamara judge is literally the reason why this season is being this freaking good okay tamara judge brought jennifer pedranti Tamara Judge brought her with the intention of creating all of this drama. If none of, if she was not here, we wouldn't have a big chunk of the drama that we have right now. Second of all, the fact that Tamara returned to the show may put all of the other girls on their toes, okay? So, no, it's not like just because of Tamara the show is amazing, but she did play a great deal into bringing Orange County back, and I am loving it, okay? I am not here to watch a bunch of old ladies drinking tea and talking about the weather, okay? I want to see the drama. I want to see people going after each other. I That's the reality TV that we watch. Yes, we don't like huge toxicity like fucking Lisa Rena or like Jen Shaw or, or, you know, some of those like very, very dark clouds. But we love petty drama, and this is exactly what is happening over here, right? So, and it was needed. And the worst part is, look, petty drama is working out in Miami, is working out in New York, is working out in Dubai. Look, at the end of the day, Orange County also needed the petty drama, but also needed like a little bit of a push. So that's why I cannot be mad at Tamara Judge for bringing a friend and literally throw her under the bus because it was needed, okay? At this point, it was needed. Okay, so let's go through some of the highlights of the last episode. I'm going to be reading from my Twitter. You know that I watch the episode and I do tweet live. So if you want to know what I'm thinking at the exact moment, I mean... Go and uh, follow me on Twitter, RealAndyBH, and uh, you will get it right, you know, fresh from the oven. Okay, let's start with this whole Shannon situation, breaking the fourth wall. Uh, she was basically in panic. Like, she knew. She was like, when this airs, my relationship is going to be freaking over. Well... I think she never anticipated that before it airs, the relationship was still going to be over. But the girl, okay? I mean, she was honestly, like, the look of, like, worrisome. Like, she was like, this is it. And I was like, who heard you, Shannon? Like, this is not a normal behavior. Just because someone else is talking shit about your relationship, it is not enough for a man to be like, well, fuck you, bitch, I'm going to leave you forever. you like, then there is something wrong in the relationship, right? Well, Shannon was like super upset, you know, and then Tamara comes and she's like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, you know, and I, I, I never meant to do it that way, blah, blah, blah. I mean, of course, Tamara knew what she was doing, you know, by bringing it right here. I mean, I don't think Tamara 
knew the extent of how afraid Shannon actually was, you know. But of course, she knows that if she's going to bring someone else talking about Shannon's relationship on camera, it's going to make great TV, right? So I, and, I, and I do think that when Shannon lose her shit, uh, Tamara was like, shit, this is real. You know, like something is going on. Now, Shannon getting all upset because how Heather Dubrow dare to share all of this information. Look, I love Shannon. You know that Shannon is my girl. But I have to tell you, how dumb are you? Okay? Like, literally, last season, Heather Dubrow was sitting in front of her telling her, if you ever talk about my family ever again, you will lose more than my friendship. And that's not a threat, it's a promise. Do you think that someone that says something like this, I'm going to go around and telling her all of my deep secrets, you know, uh, of my relationship? Girl, Shannon, what were you thinking, confiding this information on Heather Dubrow? I know that she was feeling alone. I know that she was feeling vulnerable because Tamara and Vicky were not around anymore. Maybe she didn't have too many friends, you know, so she thought that, that Heather couldn't be a friend. But like, bitch, if someone is threatening me like that, I will never trust on a person like that ever again. And of course, you know, Heather is telling Emily, Heather is telling Gina, you know. So if, if those two already know, you already know that everyone in Orange County know what is going on with their relationship. Mm -hmm. So I was like, well, Shannon, honestly, you have no one else to blame but yourself. I mean, Heather is a shitty friend and it is what it is, right? But what I love is like, I mean, we got the return of Vicky Gumbelson and she gave us, she full, came full prepared. You know, she was ready to whoop it up. She was ready to have all the fun in the world. And then all of this happened. And I, I love Vicky's face like, okay, um, are we going to be talking only about this? Like, hi, I'm back. Like, let's talk about me. You know, this is my return. I bet that Vicky was pissed that all the attention went to Shadow because it was like, bitch, you know, it remind me and I put it as a, as a gift here, like uh, that birthday party when like uh, Vicky wanted everyone to like say happy birthday to her or surprise or something. Like it remind me just like that. It was like, what about me? What about this is my return, okay? And then she's basically telling Shadow like, shut the fuck up and let's just whoop, whoop it up. You know, like who cares? Um, Let's see. Girl, I mean, the, I mean, you know that Emily and Shane and the kids, you know, I mean, I, I love them. I think that they are, they became such a like relationship goals, you know, like because they, they definitely are putting everything out there and they're be becoming like very real, you know. But, oh my God, those kids are going to destroy them when they become teenagers, especially Annabelle. Girl, you can tell that, that 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 girl is going to, like, take them down if they don't, you know, uh, stay together as a couple, you know, and, like, as, as a parent. You know what I mean? Um, then we go to another scene, you know, and then it's Tamara and Jennifer, and they're kind of, like, talking, you know, and being friends again. I put Tamara and Jennifer pretending they can be friends. Girl, this is... A race to see who is going to take the other one down first. I'm thinking that, you know, I mean, they pretend so much. Honestly, like not only Tamara, I think Jennifer as well. You know, at some point, I think Jennifer is trying to also kind of like push back. And that's why I do believe that Jennifer has so much potential to be a long lasting um, housewife. Right. Because she is definitely like pushing back you know even though i mean she, this is her, her, her first season still you know and she still have a lot of things to learn but she's not like being like all afraid like oh my god no i need to be afraid of tamar because she's like this big deal no you know so they are kind, kind of like having this conversation about how everything is going on but the way that jennifer cannot i mean she's so naive you know and she keep falling for tamara's trap like that invitation uh, to go to the vote, it, it was so, like, it screamed, this is a trap, it screamed like, like, they're going to ambush you so bad, but you just don't have to say yes to it, right, and, and Jennifer is like, oh my god, we're gonna be such good friends, I was like, girl, come on, 
Um, okay, this is the part that I put. You can love or hate Tamara all you want, but we will never have this amazing show without her, period, dot. You know what I mean? Like, no matter what, the show right now is good because of Tamara Judge. You know, and you cannot deny it. If you are denying it, it's because you are a Tamara hater and you just want to hate on Tamara. But look at the big picture. Look at the whole season. It's good because of Tamara, you know? It really ignited a passion on all of the ladies again. Like, shit, even Gina is being a little bit entertaining finally, you know, after like five years. So, yes, it is what it is. Uh... Ugh, okay, the whole scene of Heather Dubrow, you know, and, and playing with uh, Mark, what is the last name? No, I don't remember. What? Well, like, like talking with this guy, the billionaire, you know, and uh, I was like, you know, this is an app and you can con create content. And it's like, bitch, that's, that's not going to be YouTube. I mean, maybe it's going to be like years from now, if that even ever ever happens you know and she's like this is my return to acting i'm like no bitch stop with the mess come back to la audition like normal people you know and make your shit happen but stop playing with you know this like stupid shit like i would prefer to be an extra on like a marvel movie than you know be playing with all of these little apps that is not gonna take you anywhere that's why you are where you are right now you know so Stop with this. With, you know, you have contacts. When you are that millionaire, you have contacts. You know, I will be calling people like, you know what? Make me a doctor on Grey's Anatomy. You know, some bullshit like that. I mean, you don't have to ask for like a, a, an Academy Award position right away. But like something that it's a little bit more than, you know, going on, a, on an app that is create. Like, no, girl. Mm -mm. Um... Gina, the thing is, like, I cannot with Gina, honestly. Like, I know that she's trying, but to me, to me, to be very honest, Gina belongs to, like, TLC, you know, that kind of, like, channel. Like, I don't, I don't see her as Bravo Leverity, you know? Um, oh, girl, Tamara talking to Heather Dubrow, and I think Jennifer was there as well. The fact that Tamara is literally cutting Heather, lying right there to her face, and Jennifer knows that, and she, like everyone knows that, you know, and, 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 and I, I just love the way that Tamara, that sneakiness, you know, because Tamara is like, I know that you're lying. Like, I know all the shit that you have been saying, but I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna let you keep talking with the cameras rolling because the world will see how much of a liar are you. And Heather is just talking and talking and like digging her own grave and digging her own grave. I was like, oh, this is genius. I'm sorry, this is what a good housewife does. I'm sorry, like, this is freaking genius. Um, now, the tensions between Tamara and Heather Dubrow. Okay, they're definitely getting bigger and bigger. And I, I don't know if you saw this. I did an exclusive that you definitely have to go and watch if you want to get all the details. But basically, it's about this ongoing war between Tamara and Heather Dubrow behind the cameras, you know. And it really is showing here because they're, they're, I think they are pretending so much to be friends that at some point, this shit is going to explode. And all the things that I, that I said on that other exclusive video, girl, they're going to become true. This is going to get bad. This is going to be, like, insane. Um, okay, let's see. Don't you like... Really, like, someone... Oh, okay. Um, okay, yeah. I was talking about, like, Shannon and John. Um... It's so weird. I used to believe, I used to see John before and I was like, oh my God, this guy is amazing. This is the perfect guy for Shannon. They're going to be happy ever after, you know. But after, now, now we know that it's not going to result. Now we know that he broke Shannon's heart, that he played her, you know. Um, and I, and now, I, now I'm seeing him with such a different set of eyes and I'm like, ugh, 
this guy. You know, I'm like, oh my god, you need to like go. Um, okay, then we go. We're gonna go to. I mean, it's the boat scene. Jen and Ryan walking into that boat. It's literally walking towards their death. Like it is so. They, they were just waiting for them to roast them there. Um, okay, now we're going to jump a little bit before we continue talking about the boat and that scene between Heather Dubrow and Terry Dubrow and talking about selling the house. We already know that they're going to be selling their house. I think it's for like 56 or something like that million dollars and they're going to move to LA and buy this amazing, huge, you know, condo. Uh, no condo, but like a penthouse, I'm sorry. Um, and I have to tell you something. This is the part that I cannot hate on Heather because she is, she's a shitty friend, but right there, both of them as a couple, I do have to admit that these are couple goals. You know, they, uh, they, you can tell that they love each other. You can tell, I put over here that, um, they have each other backs. They have an amazing family. They're always on the same page. They are, you know, uplifting each other. It's insane. Like you can tell how 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 much love there are between the two of them, and that this is a marriage that is gonna, I mean, that is gonna last forever and ever. You know. Now I don't know what happened, you know, behind closed doors, but like it really shows right there. And if she is lying like th this will this will be academy war worthy you know so i don't believe it like that you can feel the love between the two of them so yes heather is a shitty friend but like her relationship is just amazing you know and i cannot deny that uh okay so the boat road i mean the boat ride uh at the beginning so awkward it's like inviting the random friend that no one talks to you know and now he's there and he's like, like, what do we talk about? Like, are we going to pretend that everything is okay? Let's just talk about the weather. Um, and then when they finally sit down. So this is the thing. Ryan, he's, he's kind of like being real, you know, and he's kind of like just putting everything out there. Because he knows that now that he is the talk of the town and what else can he say, you know. Um, he's bringing the dick pic. He's bringing, you know, a bunch of things to, try, to trying to be funny. But I feel that this will be funny if you are with, like, friends. But these people are not friends. They're really trying to come after you. So it, it, it really kind of, like, missed the mark, right? Um, but I have to give it to him. He was, like, being very, like... Well, it is what it is, you know, and, and he talks about everything, okay? Uh, it was a little bit that he, he ended up kind of like saying to Eddie, like, I have to apologize to you and end up saying like, oh, you know, but I actually feel betrayed um, by, by you, you know? I, I mean, <sighs> it's just, I don't know. The thing is, like, I do believe in change. I do believe that, you know, you can have whatever past you have, but in, and you can make the choice to change, you know? So, unless to me he is caught right now cheating, it's like, okay, whatever you did in the past is in the past. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. Especially if he actually, you know, changed his life to be with Jennifer. And that's the part that a lot of people cannot move forward is like, Oh, but you, you know, you cheated on your this and you, you are going around with married women, you know? Oh, and well, the fact that she, he already kind of like cheated on Jen, even though they were on a break, you know, and like all of that. And it's like, I don't know, like we can have our own opinions, but like at the end of the day, it's a relationship between Ryan and Jennifer and whatever they decided to do, what else can we do? Right? I do believe that. Jennifer deserves better because just because I believe that relationships should not be this complicated, especially at the beginning. Like if you are dealing right away with like cheating and shadiness, you know, and lies and all of that. And girl, then what do you think is going to happen the rest of your life? You know what I mean? Um, Eddie, I think I loved Eddie. 
I have to tell you because he was like, let's talk about this shit. You know, it was like, I am not going to be playing around. I like all the women, they are like never ask the questions directly. They're always trying to go around. They're always, oh my own, oh, let no say this, yes, say this, like whatever, you know. And it was like, look, this is what it is. Like, you know, like, are you a cheater? Did you cheat on her? What did you say this to my wife? Did you do this? Did you do that? You know, and it's like so refreshing because it was like, yes. Let's talk about what people really want to know and let's stop wasting time talking about shit that no one really cares, right? So I, I honestly think that he was really great for that. And see, like I put over here, look, I believe that Ryan maybe. No, I, I do believe Ryan maybe. But do I believe he will cheat on Jennifer again? A hundred percent. I think that Jen can do better. I believe that if look. Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm judging here, you know, um, especially because I just told you, like, I, I do believe in change. And I really hope that if he decided to, to change, it's fine. But there is something shady about him that I don't quite understand. And I believe that either they will have an open relationship or he will end up cheating on Jennifer. You know, I think that this is... This is a guy who needs that extra attention, you know, that not just one person is going to be able to give it to him. So, um, and what, again, whatever they decided to do is fine by me as long as they keep it real. It will be so refreshing to have a couple who says like, yes, we are in an open marriage, you know, and yes, I'm allowed to, you know, sleep around or kiss other people or whatever your rules are, you know, instead of being all like, no, let's keep it all secret, 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 secret. But let's see what is going to happen, right? So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm loving this season. I'm loving this season. I think it's bringing the drama. I think it's bringing the laughter. I think it's bringing the roller coaster of emotions. Uh, you are angry. You are happy. You are sad. Like the whole thing, it it's just really good, you know? So I am not a hater. I cannot be a hater, period. So let me know what you think in uh, the comments uh, below, okay? Like I told you, this is always my unsol unsolicited opinions. But you know what? I also love to read all of your unsolicited opinions, you know, like in this channel, they are solicit, you know, <laughs> so like just leave everything that you're thinking. I don't care who's your queen. I don't think who you care. You know, this is an open channel, open communication for everyone. So let me know. And if you're going to get all the tea related to the Real Housewife of Orange County or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. If you want to get a personalized message from me, now you can book me through Cameo. The link is on the description below. It's a great way to support my channel and you get something amazing in return. So check it out and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.